What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Now back with a new 16-bit retro review for you today. In this week's review, I'll be taking a look at Clay Fighters Tournament Edition for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It was published by Interplay Productions and developed by Visual Concepts with a North American release date of May 15th, 1994. This game would also later be ported to the Sega Genesis and Sega Master System. Clay Fighters Tournament Edition is actually the expanded version of Clay Fighters, with new backgrounds, music, bug fixes, game modes, and more characters, such as the tournament mode. Woohoo! Back in 1992, fighting games were all the rage, with many different developers trying to throw their hat in the ring. Games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat were the kings of the respective genre, and to a lesser degree maybe Killer Instinct. Each fighting game at the time needed its own niche or hook to try to get people to come and play. Such as with Street Fighter, it had great controls and sprite work. Mortal Kombat obviously had a shock value, and Killer Instinct had a fantastic awesome soundtrack. So, likewise, Clay Fighters decided to go with a slightly different approach and a way of taking itself not seriously in the least, having a very unique sense of humor, and on top of that, putting a heck of a lot of work into digitized clay figures or sculptures as the characters. Every single one of these characters was actually a clay sculpture that people handmade and created and then put into a computer. It was a lot of work that went in behind the scenes to make this game. When you start off the game, you get to pick from eight playable characters, and they are Bad Mr. Frosty, an evil snowman, Taffy, a piece of, well, Taffy, Ichabod Clay, a ghost spirit pumpkin head, the Blob, a piece of, well, Clay, Helga, an opera swing singer, Blue Suede Goo, an Elvis impersonator, Bonkers, an evil clown, and Tiny, a roided up wrestler. The story goes a giant meteor of clay has crashed into the circus called Playland and turned everything into clay. And now, a tournament has broken out to decide who will be in charge of Clayland. As you can see right away, this, this game does not take itself seriously and the sense of humor is very, very strong. I mean, if you want more proof, just look at the Name of the final boss, it's N Boss, which is a spoof of M Bison or N Boss. Get it? Like I said, this game doesn't take itself seriously at all. And you know what? It's kind of fun in that way. Now next, I would like to talk briefly about the music and the sound effects. All in all, they're pretty solid throughout. There's a lot of nice little hit or impact noises whenever your character hits someone, or whenever you're hit. It really adds some oomph to the game. Now, all in all, the music, it's not the greatest of all fighting games that I've heard, but it's decent enough. The only real negative that I can find in this game is just is in the controls. They're just so basic. There's really not a lot here. More often than not, when you're playing Clay Fighters, it feels like it just becomes a giant mashing fest. One other quick note that I would like to add in regards to Clay Fighters, since this is the expanded version, they did also add Tournament Edition mode. The original one did not have that and fixed a lot of the bug bugs from the original game. So that's something worthwhile. Now, if you were unaware, Clay Fighters also did have two sequels. They were C2 Judgment Clay, which was also for the Super Nintendo, and Clay Fighters 63 and a third for the Nintendo 64, a game which I actually have previously reviewed. But overall, is Clay Fighters Tournament Edition worth picking up today? Well, all in all, that really depends on your sense of humor. I mean... If you can enjoy just some silliness and adult humor, then yeah, I think you'll have a pretty good time. But 
don't go in with this game expecting any kind of great sweeping classic or game that's just going to totally blow you away. It's it's pretty bare bones. I wouldn't say by any stretch of the imagination this is a great game, but I wouldn't really say it's a bad game either. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still find this game out in the wild for like 15, 20 bucks. So for that price, yeah, why not? Go ahead, add it to the collection, sit down, play it one night for an evening, or face your buddies, have a just absolute mash fest. Why not? Have a good time. And then probably never touch it for a few months. So thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time.